in the humid, dense jungles of Vietnam, where the air was uncertain and dangerous and the canopy impenetrable, the M41 Walker Bulldog emerged swiftly from the darkness. The 25-ton American light tank made its way through the challenging terrain of the countryside with unparalleled skill. Its 76mm rifled gun stood as a fierce testament of firepower, ready to unleash controlled devastation upon the upcoming column of communist T-34 tanks. Designed for reconnaissance missions, the Bulldog's speed allowed it to dart through winding paths and ford shallow rivers easily. Aided by its hydraulic turret traverse system, the M41 crew swiftly targeted enemy strongholds, ensuring precise and rapid responses once the firefight broke out. American soldiers and Vietnamese allies approached the enemy positions under the guiding eyes of the Walker Bulldogs closing in. Swift, resilient, and reliable, the M41 took their positions and awaited the enemy. Seconds later, the first enemy vehicles emerged from the jungle. With pinpoint accuracy, the M41s opened fire with their main guns. Their initial barrage was quickly followed by lethal M2 Browning machine gun bursts that annihilated the enemy infantry. It was time for fire and maneuver, and the Bulldog excelled at outmaneuvering the enemy. Tanks and heavily armed and armored vehicles were used for the first time during World War I and a revolutionized ground warfare. Besides the cumbersome heavy tanks, such as the iconic British Mark I, the Allied troops also designed lighter, more maneuverable vehicles, simply dubbed light tanks. Such was the case of the French Renault FT, a leap from the colossal British and German tanks, becoming one of the first to incorporate a top-mounted turret with full rotation. Compared to heavier tanks, the Renault FT lacked armor and armament, but it was faster and easier to control over the war-torn battlefields of the Western Front. These light tanks were used primarily for reconnaissance due to their speed and mobility. They scouted enemy positions, identified weaknesses, and provided vital intelligence to the command before an infantry attack or a heavy bombardment. Additionally, light tanks supported infantry operations by covering fire, suppressing enemy positions, and offering close support during offensives. The outbreak of World War II saw the introduction of a wide array of light, medium, and heavy tanks. From German Panzers to American M24 Chaffees, light tanks were instrumental in exploiting breakthroughs in enemy lines due to their agility and speed. They flanked enemy positions, conducted surveillance, and engaged in hit-and-run tactics. They also directly supported infantry units during offensives by eliminating enemy machine gun nests, artillery positions, and fortified bunkers. In some cases, light tanks were also adapted for airborne operations, providing armored support in airborne assaults and rapid deployments. Overall, light tanks in both wars were valued for their agility, speed, and versatility in reconnaissance, infantry support, and exploitation of tactical advantages in the war zone. Their roles evolved as the Cold War progressed and tactics changed, highlighting their adaptability in various combat scenarios. The M3, M5 Stuart and the M24 Chaffee served with distinction during World War II. Although imperfect, they diligently fulfilled their roles, with the M24 extending its service during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Named after Army General Atna Chaffee Jr., the M24 light tank carried out reconnaissance missions and supported infantry units. The M24 was never meant to fight other tanks, especially larger enemy tanks like the Panthers and Tigers. Its M6 75mm gun was almost as powerful as the M4 Sherman's and offered good protection due to its sloped hull and turret. Nevertheless, despite its effectiveness, the US Army sought to replace the tank with a larger vehicle. In late 1946, the war had ended, but tensions with the Soviet Union rose, creating new war necessities. The new design, modeled after the M24, was designated T-37 and resulted in three prototypes. The Army envisioned a highly mobile tank capable of conducting reconnaissance operations and engaging the latest Soviet medium tanks. In addition, Army Command wanted the vehicle to feature a modular hull to share parts and components with other military vehicles. The prototype was completed in 1949 as the T-37 Phase 1 and featured a stabilized 76-2mm M32 main gun. The T-37 Phase 2 featured a redesigned turret with a new mantlet, a bore evacuator, and an improved fire control system. The third prototype was redesignated T-41 and later M-41. It weighed over 52,000 pounds and eliminated its intended airborne role. Still, 
the Army placed orders in 1950 for immediate production. The M41 was christened the Little Bulldog, but was later renamed the Walker Bulldog, in honor of General Walton H. Walker, a renowned Army officer who lost his life in a jeep accident on Christmas Eve of 1950 when stationed in Korea. The M41 began production at the Cadillac Car Division of General Motors at the Cleveland Tank Plant. Compared to the M24 Chaffee, the Bulldog was bigger and heavier. It had an enlarged turret, a longer and wider hull, and was five tons heavier. The Bulldog's hull was made of welded steel and featured a sloped glacis plate with a horizontal top and large exhaust pipes on each side of the upper hull. The tank's armor was between 12 and 25.4 millimeters thick. It featured a 500 horsepower flat six-cylinder engine that allowed the 25-ton vehicle to reach top speeds of over 65 kilometers per hour and an approximate range of 180 kilometers on 530 liters of fuel. The tank's engineers chose a torsion bar suspension, incorporating five medium-sized road wheels on each side, alongside three track return rollers. To facilitate an Allison cross-drive system adoption, rear sprockets were designed and mounted transversely to the engine's crankshaft at right angles. Positioned at the rear of the hull, the engine and transmission were separated from the fighting compartment by a fireproof bulkhead. The Bulldog's main armament comprised a 76mm gun capable of full 360-degree traverse and an elevation of 19 degrees. In addition, the M41's barrel featured a bore evacuator and a T-type blast deflector to minimize the dust cloud effects caused by propellant gases. Secondary armament comprised a coaxial Browning M1919A4 30 caliber machine gun with 5,000 rounds and a heavier Browning M250 caliber placed on an anti-aircraft mount at the turret hatch with over 2,000 rounds. The M41 Bulldog comprised a crew of four. The driver was seated at the front of the hull on the left side, while the commander, loader, and gunner were inside the turret. The Bulldog featured an escape hatch, allowing the crew to bail out quickly if the tank was compromised in combat. The first Bulldog was delivered to the Army in March 1951 and would reach over 900 by March 1952. Despite the urgency to deploy the M41s, they arrived too late to see action during the Korean War. Still, they were deployed in the region for Allied forces and spanned multiple variants. The M41A1 replaced the original model and brought several improvements. It featured an enhanced hydraulic turret traverse system, allowing more efficient movement. By 1956, the M41A2 emerged, integrating a fuel-injected Continental six-cylinder gas engine. This upgrade significantly improved fuel consumption and dual power traverse for the tank commander, amplifying its maneuverability and command control. Meanwhile, the QM41 was a specialized model developed for the U.S. Navy, incorporating remote control mechanisms for ordnance testing, catering specifically to unique naval requirements. The M41-105, an experimental prototype, attempted to retrofit the tank hull with the 105mm gun from the Stingray-like tank. While innovative, it did not garner widespread adoption. Beyond the U.S., international customizations appeared. The M41B, modernized for the Brazilian Army, incorporated a Saab Scania 8-cylinder diesel engine and modified the main gun for enhanced performance. Further variations, like the M41C, customized for the Brazilian Marine Corps, and the M41D, upgraded by the Republic of China Army, tailored the tank to meet distinct operational needs with specialized engines, turret adjustments, and upgraded gun systems. Spain, Germany, Thailand, Denmark, and other U.S. partners modified their tanks to increase their performance in service lines. The M41 Bulldog had a substantial combat record from 1953 to 1969. Its baptism of fire occurred on the beaches of Cuba during the failed Bay of Pigs invasion. The CIA trained Cuban exiles with five M41s where they inflicted heavy casualties on the enemy, but were soon outnumbered by more than 100 Soviet T-34 tanks. The tank's next tour of duty was in the Vietnam War, where it was employed by both the U.S. and the Army of the Republic of Vietnam. Known for its agility and speed, the Bulldog proved effective in navigating the challenging terrain of Southeast Asia. Its primary roles included reconnaissance, providing fire support, and engaging enemy infantry in light vehicles. The tank's success lay in its mobility, allowing it to traverse dense jungles and maneuver swiftly, evading threats while delivering accurate fire. The M41 Bulldog was also appreciated for its reliable performance and adaptability to the ever-changing battlefield conditions. 
It showcased its effectiveness in various complex and operations throughout its service, demonstrating its value as a reliable and versatile light tank. The Bulldog also saw combat during the Lebanese Civil War, where both Christians and Muslims employed it during the conflict. The Bulldog was the last light tank employed successfully by the American military. Recently, the Army introduced its first light tank since the M41. As part of the Mobile Protected Firepower program, the M10 Booker debuted in 2023 and will improve mobility, protection, and direct fire capabilities for infantry brigade combat teams.